When racing, the crew of Serena typically uses the end-for-end -end jibe with their force-bar spinnaker pole, which is standard for boats up to 35 feet. The procedure is very straightforward. As Tom calls for the jibe, he bears off downwind. John then releases the inboard end of the pole as Susie pulls the guy back to keep the spinnaker flying. While Tom steers dead downwind as much as possible, John moves the pole to the old sheet, which is now the new guy, as he disconnects the old guy and now new sheet using the internal trip mechanism. Now let's take another look at the end-for-end -end jibe from the deck of Serena. You'll notice John has lowered the pole to a workable height while executing this maneuver, and we'll need to remember to reset the pole to the original height. And one more time, the end for end jibe as seen from the chase boat. Notice that Kate is bringing the new guy line into the boat for easier attachment to the pole. Elizabeth moves to the back of the boat to handle the running backstay, which is a critical job on these lightweight boats.